ambaye umenyuliwa juu sana ambaye umekaa katika kiti chako cha enzi Lord God Almighty we worship you this morning we give you all the glory Lord we give you all the honor Master we welcome you we welcome you Lord Jehovah God to come and do only what you can do in the name of Jesus Tuko katika uweponi wako mara tena Bwana Wacha kusudi lako likatimie katika maisha ya kila moja wetu asubuhi ya leo kwa jina kule Kristo Yesu as we come against of each and every work of the enemy each and every power each and every communication all the strategies of the enemy all the networking we come against them now in the name of Jesus Christ we welcome you Lord God Almighty to take the first stage in this service be glorified be magnified be worshiped i am just a vessel my father and my god use me to the glory and honor of your name the name of the father the son and of the holy spirit we pray amen tunaweza chukua viti zetu katika uweponi mwa bwana bwana yesu asifiwe happy easter bwana asifiwe Happy Easter. The tomb is empty. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ushindi wetu uko hapo. Kama vile mtumishi wa Mungu amesema, kaburi ingekuwa bado iko sealed. Na mwili wa Yesu uko pale ndani. Ibada yetu leo ingekuwa ni bure tu. Bwana asifiwe sana. But this morning we celebrate that Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. Na kwa sababu yeye ambaye ni tumaini letu, ambaye ni tumaini la kanisa amefufuka, nasi hatumo kaburini tumefufuliwa pamoja na Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And therefore this morning Mungu amenisaidia na amenipa ujumbe ambao ninaamini ya kwamba umetoka kwake. Haleluya. Na niseme ya kwamba bado nimeokoka asubuhi ya leo. Bado Yesu ni mtawala wa moyo wangu. Bado Yesu anatamalaki ndani yangu. Sijapata na kwa hivyo sitafuti maana nilimpata kipenzi cha moyo wangu ambaye ni Yesu. Na kwa hivyo kwa Yesu nimetosheka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Nimetosheka kwa Yesu. So nimeokoka, nimelindwa na Kristo, nimelindwa na bingu pamoja na nyumba yangu. Sisi ni wa Yesu milele. Ninatangazanga each and every time, each and every moment that me and my house we will serve Almighty God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na kwa hivyo whether wanajua ama hawajui sisi sote tutamtumikia Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Our daughter Joy ako na Sunday school. Na anawe, anaenda pia kuwahudumia. Bwana asifiwe sana. So yetu ni nyumba ya watumishi wa Mungu. Hatubahatishi sisi ni watumishi wa Mungu. Wakati Mungu uh, tulikuwa na mume wangu kwa miaka kumi na saba nikiwa tasa ama tukiwa tasa na yeye, maana hajawahi nionyesha mtoto mwingine na hapo nje. Sijawahi ona na ninajua hakuna. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So tulipokuwa tasa wa watoto, tulikuwa tunamwambia Mungu ukitupa mmoja tu, tutakutumikia pamoja. And this morning I glorify God for we are serving him with my family. Bwana asifiwe sana. That was a prayer and I want to thank God this morning because it is fulfilled in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, Mungu amenipa ujumbe asubuhi ya leo. Na ninajua ya kwamba kusudi lake Mungu litatimia maisha ni mwetu maana Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu sana haleluya 
kabla ni nene kile ambacho Mungu amenipa kwa neno Reverend Mungu akaninenea it was on Thursday Wednesday very early in the morning Mungu alikuwa amenipatia Tuesday the sermon of today and I was like, is this really the message that God want me to come and speak? And on Wednesday morning, very early in the morning, Mungu akaninenea. Na Mungu akanipeleka mahali. Nika, nika angalia na nika shindwa niko wapi. Nikasikia watu wanaongea nyuma yangu. Na nikasia wanaong hawakuwa wanaongea na mimi. Because hata hawakuwa wananiona. Hawakuwa wananiona. Na nilikuwa ninajiona sikuwa katika huu mwili. So wakaongea nyuma yangu. Wakasema ya kwamba kwa hii mochari. Stima imepotea. Na kwa sababu stima imepotea kwa hii mochari. Tunawatoa hizi maiti zote ziko kwa mochari. Tutazianikia jua. Tutaziwepa kapale inje. Na mimi bado nikawa ninatazama. What will happen after this? Nikauna mili yote imetapaka ilikuwa mili mingi sana. Na yangu chini ilikuwa yote iko na nguo imewekwa pale Nika, nikaona nimekaribia maana sasa si mwili uko chini na ni mili mingi nikaona nimekaribia and it is like ninataka kuangalia what will happen to these dead bodies na nikaona vile walikuwa wanakaa pale it is like kulikuwa na kajua fulani kakiwapiga baridi ya mochari si met, wametoka kwa mochari maana hakuna stima so hizo mafrizi zote hazifanyi kazi so wametolewa nje so nikaona kajoto kanapoendelea kuwapiga nikaona there is some movement and i was very keen kuangalia hizi mili what will happen nikaona kila mwili mdomo, mdomoni wameanza kuchiu it is like wanakula chakula bado mili imelala Na nami mahali nilikuwa nikaanza kujiuliza kwani hii mili walikufa na chakula mdomoni Bado niko pale ninaangalia nikaona kila mmoja anasimama miguuni pake na kisimama na miguu wanaanza kumsifu Mungu Kila akisimama anaanza kumsifu Mungu na Mungu akanitoa kwa dhati sini nikapelekwa kwa ingine. hiyo ingine tuachane nayo Bwana asifiwe sana Sitaki kusema ya kwamba ni hii kanisa ambayo Mungu aliona iko vile Lakini tutakapokuwa tunaendelea na the sermon of today tutajua ni sisi tulikuwa kwa mochali tumeteme, tumetolewa na tumeanza kuendelea na tumeanza kusifu Mungu ama ni watu wengine Bwana asifiwe sana naomba ya kwamba roho wa Mungu aliye mwaminifu atafunulia kila moja wetu tutakapotukua tunamaliza ibada hii in the next 25 30 minutes roho wa Mungu ni mwaminifu atatufundisha Bwana asifiwe sana We are celebrating Easter. Not yeah, Easter. That means the tomb is empty. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kristo Yesu alikuwa amewekwa msalabani, akauawa sio kwa ajili ya dhambi zake, sio kwa ajili ya makosa yake. Ni kwa sababu ya sisi maana hatukuwa wana ili tuweze kupatikana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Akabeba msalaba, akapigwa, akateswa, akafanywa all sort of manner, ya, yani vitu kwa vyote alifanyiwa ili mimi na wewe tupatikane. Bwana asifiwe sana. 
Yesu akapelekwa Golgotha. I was praising God when the praise and worship we are worshiping here. Ya kwamba Golgotha. Falme wa wafalme. Bwana asifiwe sana. And that is my first reading. John chapter 9. Verse 17 and 18. Ukiniyekea kwa screen. Nitafurahi sana. Biblia inasema ya kwamba. Yesu akabeba msalaba. Akaelekea gorgoda. Mahali ambapo pia mandiko inasema. Ilikuwa inaitua a place of scar. In other words, dry bones. Bwana asifiwe sana. Now it was a Sabbath when Jesus made the, the clay. No, not, not, uh, Nineo. 19. John chapter 19, verse 17. Yesu akabeba msalaba. Akaelekea Golgotha. And he, bearing his cross, went out to a place called the place of skull. It's called Golgotha. Ona sifiwe sana. Golgotha, mana yake ni mahali pamifupa mikavu. Na roho wa mungu akawa akinifundisha ya kwamba. Mapa, pa, ma, ma, panaitua Golgotha Mahali ambapo ni pamifupa mikavu It is a place of no hope Wanayesu wa sifiwe sana A place of no hope A place of tears A place of discouragement A place of law moment Golgotha Yesu alipopelekwa pale hakuwa peke yake na kwa hivyo walikuwa na watu wengine wamewekwa katika msalaba wote wa watatu and that was the place ambao kila mtu alikuwa anapelekwa akionekana na makosa anaenda anawekwa kwa msalaba anauawa mahali pale na ndipo sasa anaitwa place of scar Mahali abako hakuna matumaini. Yesu mwana wa mungu hakupele kwa state house. Ah -ah. Hakupele kwa katika our beautiful mansions. Ah -ah. Hakupele kwa into the best restaurant in Emari. Mm -mm. Alipele kwa mahali pamifupa mikavu. Ili sisi ambao hatukuwa na tumaini, tupate tumaini. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yesu alipelekwa kwa ajri yako na kwa ajri yangu. Hapo mahali pa mifupa mikavu. Mahali ambapo hapana tumaini. Ili wewe ambaye ulikuwa chini sana. Wewe ambaye haukuwa na tumaini. Mimi ambaye singepata msaada mahali pengine ni upate msaada. Akawe kwa mahali pale na maandiko inasema... Akasema it is finished. So mateso, masumbuko, kilio, maumivu, ikawa imeisha Golgotha. Wana yesu wasifiwe sana. Na kwa hivyo ninataka ni kutangazia asubu hiya leo. Kristo amefufuka. Nasi tumefufuliwa pamoja na Kristo. Hallelujah. Tunapo endelea. Roho wa mungu watatusaidia. Nipatia Ezekiel 37. Kwanzia mstari wake. Tunaweza anzia moja. Lakini because of time. Ninataka tutusome Ezekiel 12 to 14. But tunaweza tunge anza verse 1. Ezekiel 12 it says. Therefore prophesy and say to them that says the Lord God behold all my people I will open your graves and cause you to come up from 
your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Verse 13. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up from your graves. Verse 14. I will put my spirit in you and you shall live and I will bless you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. One as if you were son. Mungu akaonkea na mtumishu wake Ezekiel. Akamwambia prophesy to these dry bones. Verse 1 huko kianza huko juu. Anamwambia prophesy unto these dry bones. Prophesy to them. Wanene neno la unabi. Tell them you dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. Wana sifiwe sana. Mtumishi Ezekiel akaendelea ku prophesy and you know what happened. The dry bones came back to life. Na mandiko inasema ya kwamba wakasimama wakiwa jeshi ku. Now verse 12. Biblia inasema hivi. That was now the sermon ambaye mungu alikuwa amenipea. Before anichukue anipeleke kwa mochari. Hapo ndiyo sasa mungu alikuwa amenipea hiyo antiko. Verse 12. Anasema ya kwamba prophesy to my people and tell them I will open they are graves. Wana sifiwe sana. Na nikawa na wakati wakushukuru mungu. Mana katika kaburi ya Yesu, kaburi la Yesu ni tupu. Hayuko mahali tupale, amefufuliwa. Alifufuliwa na mungu kwa kumfu na weza. Na amekaa katika mkono wa mungu wa kume. And now the Lord is telling us as a church, now prophesy to them. And tell them, I, the Lord, I will open their graves. One as if you were son. I am here to prophesy as a servant of God. Mana hiyo ndiyo kazi mungu amenipea this morning. To prophesy. It doesn't matter the graves you are in. Ni muovu sana. Hanachukua watu wa mungu na kuwaweka katika makaburi na kuwafungia. Hanachukua watu wa mungu na waweka katika cells. If you can remember, Peter in the, in the book of Act 12, alichukuliwa, akafungiwa. Ili injili ya kristo isiendele. Paul and Cyrus walipokuwa wanahubiri injiri ya Kristo maandiko inasema in the act 16 ya kwamba wakachukuliwa wakawekwa into cell into prison into those dungeons na wakafunkiwa wanasifiwe sana shetani ni muovu kuna wengine now i come to the what lord showed me wengine wako kwa mochari as we speak and i have to say this that the spiritual world is more real than the physical world. The spiritual world, it is more real. Ulimwenku wa roho, hatuoni na haya macho. Na niposa ni mewambia, I was taken to a place. And I was not in this body. Na kwa hivyo mungu alikuwa ananionyesha whatever was happening. Therefore, the spirit of God, it is more real, more real. Zaidi ya hivi ninavyo kuona, hivi unavyo niona. Wana asifiwe sana. Na kwa hivyo nikisema kuna wengine saa hii wako kwa moshari, inaweza ikawa ni mimi, inaweza ikawa ni wewe, as we speak. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Siku kuja kukueka uoga. But this is how it is. Lakini ni na mshukuru mungu. Wengine wako katika maka 
kaburi hatima yao ime, imezikwa uhai wao ulizikwa kitambo na shetani na akafanya mikono hivi akamemalizana watoto wa wengi wamezikwa masomo yao mpaka unauliza na ni nani aliyemnirogea mtoto wangu alizikwa akiwa hai ushindi wake masomo yake future yake ilikanyangiwa na ikazikwa wana asifiwe sana huduma za wengi shetani amemalizana nazo amezikunja hivi kama karatasi na kaifunika na ikamalizika ndoa za wengi ambazo tulikuwa tunaongea hapa jana zilizikwa kitambo wana asifiwe sana wengine tunaona tu ni watu wanatembea kumbe ni kiwiliwili cha mtu mtu mwenyewe alizikwa kitambo na akasahaulika na mambo ikaisha but I'm having this morning. Yesu mwana wa Mungu hakufufuka peke yake. Wana asifiwe sana. Yesu hakufufuka peke yake. Biblia inasema in the book of Matthew 27 and 28 ukiisoma yote ya kwamba alipofufuka there was an earthquake and the rocks split and the graves were opened which graves of them who had died without hope bwana asifiwe sana yesu alipofufuka kulikuwa na mitetemeko ya ardhi makaburi zikafunguka ya watu waliokufa na wakaonekana wakitembea bwana asifiwe sana hawakutembea kama ghosti a a walionekana wakitembea as we celebrate asubuhi ya leo na kusema ya kwamba Jesus is alive ninataka kukutangazia ya kwamba hata nawe umefufuliwa in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hauko katika ulimwengu wa wafu Hauko tena katika hizo makaburi. Your future, your destiny haijazikwa katika hizo. You are alive in Jesus name. Bwana asifiwe sana. Asubuhi njema ya leo. Mungu anaenda kufukua kila aina ya kaburi maishani mwetu. Mungu anaenda kututoa ambao bado wako katika hizo uh, uh, mochari. Japokuwa tunatembea lakini shetani back in his mind anajua alimalizana nasi. Walipomuua Yesu walifikiria wamemalizana na kazi ya Christianity. Wakasema tumemalizana na huyu Muyahudi, tumemalizana na huyu alikuwa anajifanya ni Yesu. Lakini kuna jambo moja ambao hawakujua ya kwamba wamemuweka tu siku ya tatu maandiko inasema akafufuka na amekaa katika mkono wa Mungu mbinguni bwana asifiwe sana hivyo walikuwa wamemalizana na Yesu ndivyo walikuwa wamemalizana na wewe but i'm prophesying to you alive this morning that you are alive familia yako imesimama tena maandiko inasema and god told her, Ezekiel prophesy tell them that I the Lord I will open their graves your graves are empty this morning in the name of Jesus I want you to stand up and celebrate because your children your future your business your life your ministry it is no longer in the grave Christ Jesus has opened the grave for you in the name of Jesus Christ celebrate the victory of Christ celebrate what Jesus has done celebrate celebrate the victory celebrate because you are no longer in that tomb in the name of Jesus Christ we may have our seats Bwana asifiwe sana. Biblia inasema in the book of John 10:10 10, 10, and the enemy comes to steal, 
kill and destroy. But the Bible says Jesus came to give us life and it is fullness um, and it's and uh, uh, it's abundance. One as if you were sana. And this is what it is happening. In the spiritual world, this is what it is happening. Jesus came to give us life and have it at what? At what? Abundance. To whatever God has done this morning, it is sealed, it is permanent that you have received your life in the name of Jesus Christ. It is sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hauko kaburini tena. Bwana asifiwe sana. Uzao wa tumbo lako hauko kaburini tena. Baraka zako hazimo kaburini tena. Ninajua niko zone ya ukambani. And uh, let me say this. I cannot be ignorant. The works of the enemy. Wana sifiwe sana. Ninajua ya kwamba nimekanyangisha migu zoni ya kamoti. Wana ya siwasifiwe sana. Hiyo ninajua. Niko zoni ya kamote. But let me tell you. Yoyote aliye kuendea kwa kamote. It will come back to him or her. In Jesus name. You know what? When wakati Yesu alipo kuwa amefufuka, Biblia inasema ya kwamba and there was earthquake. Earthquake. Do you know what happened? In that situation, kabuli la Yesu lilikuwa liko na walinzi ambao walikuwa wanamlinda Yesu asifufuke so they were there wanalinda kaburi and when the earthquake came biblia inasema ya kwamba those men walianguka wakakaa kama wafu bwana Yesu asifiwe sana hawakujua time Yesu alifufukia wapi because they were dead sio yangu ninataka tusome na wewe In the book of Matthew. Wacha niangalie ni Matthew ni 28 ama ni 20. 28 eh? Umepata ni 28 Matthew 28 nilikuwa nafikiri ni 27. Twenty-eight verse gani mchungaji? Verse 2. There was a violent earthquake. For an angel of the Lord came down from heaven. And going to the tomb, rolled back the stone. Ni hapo? And sat on it. Verse 3. His appearance was like a lightning. And his clothes were white. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead. Sio mimi niliandika. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na kwa hivyo as we celebrate what God has done, it doesn't matter ulikuwa umefanyiwa na nani. He or she will be like a dead person in the name of Jesus. Mana hajui uliinukilia wapi? Hajui uliponea wapi? Hajui kaburi lako lilifunguliwa wapi? Bwana asifiwe sana. But this earthquake. Hii mtetemeko Bwana Yesu asifiwe itamtetemesha mpaka kaburi. Hallelujah. And therefore as we celebrate what God is doing, let us also be aware of what the enemies camp inapoendelea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Biblia inasema in the book of uh, Exodus chapter number 9. Wana wa Israeli walipokuwa wamewekwa mateka. Walikuwa into the captivity. Na ikawa ni wakati wa Mungu kuwatoa into that captivity. There was a spirit ambayo ilikuwa 
inaitwa farao even today this spirit of farao, farao bado inafanya kazi katika maisha yetu bwana asifiwe sana lakini ilibidi mungu aingilie kati exodus chapter number 9 Verse 1 inasema na Mungu akamwambia Musa enda umwambie Farao let my people go. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. And therefore this morning I want to decree and declare upon your life that you are free to move in Jesus name. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wewe hauko matekani tena. Wewe hauko kifungoni tena in exile you are no longer in captivity you are no longer in that land of bondage you are no longer in that prison you are no longer in that tomb you are no longer in that grave you are free to go in Jesus name bwana yesu asifiwe sana farao akamwambia msa nimewapea ruhusa muende lakini musiende mbali muende tu karibu alafu murudi bwana yesu asifiwe musiende mbali this is the spirit of the enemy anapoachilia watu wa Mungu anapowafungua bado anaweka masharti ya kwamba musiende mbali nimefungua hiyo biashara yako isiende mbali Uuze tu mwezi mmoja na, na mwezi wa pili mwezi wa tatu you come back to the to the to the old state Nimewafungua watoto wako wanaweza wakasoma lakini ni tamu moja tu watapita mtihani tamu hizi zingine watarudi nyuma vile nilikuwa into that captivity Bwana asifiwe sana Nimekupatia furaha na amani katika ndoa yako lakini ni kwa muda tu kidogo Mume wako mke wako atarejea hali zake za kawaida. Hivyo ndivyo adui anafanya. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini ninashukuru Mungu. Musa akamwambia ya kwamba tunaenda na hata hatuwachi watoto wetu na wake zetu, hata hatuwachi kwato la ngombe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Akamwambia tunaenda na wake zetu na waume zetu na wake zetu na mali zetu na kondoo na ngombe maana baba wa binguni huenda atahitaji hizi mali so that we can be able to sacrifice to him in the wilderness Bwana asifiwe sana na kwa hivyo ninakutangazia mtu wa Mungu asubuhi ya leo ya kwamba ushindi ule ambao Mungu amekutoa asubuhi ya leo it is and sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ hautarudi katika hiyo uh, mochari tena in Jesus name hautarudi katika hiyo hali tena in the name of Jesus watoto wako wamefunguliwa na wako huru kweli kweli the bible says where there are a spirit of god there are freedom And therefore because we are in the presence of the most high god i declare freedom victory success breakthrough over your lives in the name of jesus christ wana yesu asifiwe musa akasema tunaenda mpaka na ngombe zetu tunaenda pamoja na mbuzi zetu hatuachi kitu ni nini unataka kumwachia shetani asubuhi ya leo? Aendelee kutawala ndoa yako? Aendelee kutawala maisha yako? Aendelee kutawala mavuno yako ya shamba? Aendelee kutawala wokovu wako na huduma? We are telling him that we are coming out in the name of Jesus. Coming out from all those bondages of the enemy, all those cells, we are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. Wakati Mungu alikuwa amenipeleka hiyo niniyo nimeweleza hapa. Nilipona watu waliokuwa wamekufa wameanza kutafuna. Na nikaanza kuangalia nione what will happen next. Nimewaambia ya kwamba nilikuwa ninaona mtu anasimama na anaanza kusifu, wanaanza kuabudu Mungu. Let me tell you. 
hizo makaburi hizo mochari maana wengi wengi walikuwa kwa mochari wapendwa na nimewaambiaje ya kwamba ulimwengu wa roho ni kweli zaidi and it is more visible si unaona hivyo tunaonana hivyo ulimwengu wa kiroho it is more visible than this world wengi walikuwa hivyo umesikia Mungu alinionyesha that was exactly our situation in the mortuary ukitoka mortuary mtu anapelekwa wapi unapelekwa kwa kaburi na kwa hivyo kuna wale wamechomolewa kwa mortuary shetani alikuwa amemalizana nao kabisa na anajua haka hakatafufuka tena already nimemalizana nako but i thank god this morning because of his faithfulness tumechelewa tumetolewa kwa hizo mochari makaburi zimefunguliwa makaburi iko wazi as we celebrate the emptiness of the tomb of jesus we are also celebrating that our tombs are empty in the name of jesus christ yesu wakati moja akitembea katika mji wa nain akakutana na mama mchane na the only son kulikuwa na procession ya matanga walikuwa wanaelekea kwenda kumzika the only son yesu maandiko inasema alipowatazama akawahurumia huyo mama mchane akawekelea mkono wake kwa hiyo uh, uh, casket na yesu akasema ifunguliwe Watu walikuwa pale wamemtoka nyuma mama mujane wamemhurumia lakini hakuna kitu wangemfanya so ile wangemsaidia tu ni kupeleka mtoto wake kwa bari on site na kumuzika na kusahau lakini Yesu alipowatazama akahurumia mama akahurumia even the mourners maandiko inasema akagusa sanduku akasema ifunguliwe kijana akakaa chini akamwambia mtoeni rudi kwa nyumba haendelee na kazi yake And therefore I declare this morning there is no procession of burial in our places in the name of Jesus Christ. Hatutakuwa katika procession ya matanga. Hatutaandaa matanga kwetu. Maana Yesu mwana wa Mungu amefufuka. Na anaenda kututetea ni kwa sababu yeye ni mwaminifu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hakutakuwa na matanga kwetu in the name of Jesus. Biblia inasema ya kwamba in the book of Psalms David akawa akise, akiongea ana declare maisha yake anasema and I will not die but live and proclaim the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. That should be our declaration this this year. And not only this year, kila asubuhi mimi nikiamka hiyo inakuanga my verse when I'm dig after I'm done with the prayer and thanksgiving and supplication then when I'm coming to declare I declare that myself my husband our our, our our daughter our family the church of Christ they will not die but we will live and do tutaishi tufanye nini to declare the works the deeds of the most high god bwana yesu asifiwe sana Hatutaishi ili tukule modhokoi kwa nyumba. Mungu hafungui makaburi ili uendelee kukaa katika anasa. Mungu hata kutuwa katika hiyo kaburi, alafu uendelee kufanya vituko na kazi zako. Mungu anapokutoa katika hizo makaburi ni ili umfanyie kazi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Geukia jirani yako mwambie kazi. Na sio kazi ya shamba tu, kazi ile ambayo Yesu mwenyewe alikuja kuifanya. Wale ambao walikuwa hapa jana. Yesu alipokuwa ana munenea mwanamke msamaria as I was speaking. Wanafunzi walipoleta chakula, wakamwambia kula, akamwambia hapana. Mimi already nimekula. Wakaulizana, wamekula chakula gani? Yesu akawaambia nimekula ile chakula ambayo ilinileta hapa. Ile kazi ambayo ilinileta. So chakula cha Yesu, kazi ya Yesu, it is bringing sinners back to God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na kwa hivyo tunapofunguliwa katika makaburi yetu, makaburi inafunguliwa 
Mochali inakosa stima. Unajua ni nini? Hizo ni nguvu za giza. Zimeisha nguvu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Niliposikia wanaongea, wanasema ya kwamba mochari imeisha moto. Hakuna stima. Kwa hivyo tuwatowe nje. That means they have surrendered. The enemy has already surrendered. My sister, my brother, oh, you are free to go and serve your God. Mungu amekuweka huru ili ukafanye kazi yake. Na walipokuwa wanasimama, wanasimama na wanaanza kuabudu Mungu. Walikuwa wanaanza pole pole maana hawana nguvu. Si walikuwa wamekufa. But gradually nilikuwa ninaona wakipata nguvu wanaendelea ku kwa nguvu kwa nguvu mpaka sasa ikaendelea Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana So hizo makaburi ambazo tumefunguliwa leo tumefunguliwa so that we can be able to serve God Musa akamwambia farao tunaenda pamoja na wake zetu na watoto wetu na mbuzi so that we can go and sacrifice to our God Walitolewa katika mateka ya utumwa ili waende wakamsifanyie Mungu kazi. Na kwa hivyo tunaenda kumfanyia Mungu kazi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ninapomalizia asubuhi ya leo. Ninatangaza ya kwamba Adui alikuwa akaua watoto wako, hatima yako, ushindi wako, biashara yako, ndoa yako akaimaliza pole pole wewe bila kujua. Ulijipata tu ndoa yako imesambaratika. Ulijipata tu watoto wako kuliko wakuja number one. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 28 that we, we, we are not tails but head. Ukapata tu watoto wako wametoka from head to tail. Haukuelewa hii ilifanyika namna gani? Let me tell you my brother and my sister. Ya kwamba Mungu anakutoa katika hiyo hali kwa kishindo. Kama vile alivyoachilia the earthquake. God is going to quake in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, mighty things will happen. You will sprout. Ayubu anasema basi na mti uliokuwa umekatwa kuna matumaini there is a hope that a tree will sprout Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana I am declaring that you will sprout speedingly in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord God will put acceleration in your life in Jesus name Hautachukua nafasi ya matendo makuu ya Mungu utayaona maishani mwako Umekuwa ukichumbiwa fiance wako anaenda this side na we unaenda this side this time round it will be accelerated by the power of his resurrection god almighty Mungu ataifanya kuwa ya haraka Bwana asifiwe sana lakini upande wa shetani kutakuwa ni kilio na kusaga meno in the name of Jesus Christ And therefore this morning our Jesus he is a shaking he is a prison shaking savior Our Jesus he is a pain taker this morning he is a way maker and he is a chain breaker and that is what he has done this morning Bwana asifiwe sana amekufungua kutokana na hizo vifungo hizo cells you are free free to do what free to serve almighty god Joshua declared me and my family we will serve the lord let it this be you from today Maana Mungu ninajua ametenda wakati Mungu aliponipatia this sermon na akanionyesha because by the way I was almost kutoka kwa hii nitafute ingine ambayo maybe nilikuwa ninafikiria ndio itakuwa mzuri sana so when god showed me this 
I started praying for you. Ni wachache mno ambao ni nawajua because so wale ambao tulikuwa to interact nao ni very few. Na wale ambao walikuwa wamekuja kesha ya DOD. Very few. But imagine I was praying for each one of you. Kama vile nimesema ulimwengu wa roho uko it is transparent. Unakutananga huko kwa waves za kiroho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So I was praying for you. Ili nikikuja hapa hakuna kungengana. So ikiwa ni wachabi na waganga niliwakemea. And that's why nimekuja to just to declare because it is already done. In Jesus name. Siku kuita hapa ukuje tukuombe tukemee nguvu za wachawi na waganga na washirikina na tuanze kufanya sarakasi ya kukutoa kwa kaburi hapa hapana hiyo niliifanya katika ulimwengu wa roho katika maombi bwana asifiwe sana the only thing which was remaining it is just to tell you and also to declare to you that you are no longer in those graves you are no longer in those cells you are no longer in those dungeons you are no longer in that mortuary. Oh God Almighty, amekufufua, amekuinua na ameficha uhai wako. The Bible says in the book of Colossians that our life has been hidden by Christ in God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na hiyo already it is sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Wewe umefichwa mbali sana ambapo adui hawezi kukupata. Not unless uanze kumangamanga na shetani. Kabla tukuje hapa tuingie ndani kwa hivi tukiwa pale ofisini na wachungaji pale tulikuwa tulifa, tuliongea hapo tuka make some fun pale na mamu mchungaji akasema ya kwamba shetani huanga hachokangi he will try akifail ana try tena akite akifail tena ana try anaweza try even 10 times in one minute ili akushike akurudishe katika cells zake Na tuka make joke tukasema ya kwamba hachokangi my husband akasema ya kwamba akiona umemuibisha na umemujua anatokanga na toothpick na anaenda akicheka huyo ni shetani anacheka hata ogopa anacheka tu vile wewe ukisikia umekataliwa ama umefukuzwa ama umekemewa utakasirika shetani hakasirikangi maana anajua tu it is just a matter of time atarudi tena kwako na atakujaribu mara tena so not unless you give in not unless you permit him. Katika maisha yako, you have been delivered. You are free to go and serve Almighty God in Jesus' name. Bwana wa uzima awabariki, awatende mema, awahifadhi, aendelee kuwatetea, aendelee kuwakava under his canopy of his glory, aendelee kushine upon your lives each and every time, each and moment of your life in Jesus' name. God of heaven bless you and keep you and do you